even though I live in North Wales in the UK, I my heart is in Nigeria and in Africa, and I'm very much concerned and involved in the issues of conservation. And um, coming back to what you are asking, I think what we have, um, what we are struggling with is the fact that the NGOs are there, just like Donna said, and they are working in Africa, across Africa, in different countries. The issue is the NGOs that are actually, that have the big fundings, the big funds are actually international NGOs. The local NGOs are really not recognized, sort of. We have this challenge of big NGOs giving money, the biggest NGOs giving money to NGOs that are resident in the countries. We, I don't know whether it is trust issue, but I don't see a track record of somebody that have failed because a bigger NGO have given you a funder, have given you money and you didn't do the work. So I, what I would want to see is the, the local NGOs being engaged as much as possible. I feel that is the only way we can be able to sustain these interventions in these communities. Because once you empower the local NGOs, then it is very likely that pro the, the, the government or policymakers in the countries can key into that and then take it over, you know. But just one-off interventions are not sustainable for anybody, you see. And so these are some of the things that we are struggling with and, you know, coming together. We just started, we've just, I, I, I mean, you have come on um, one of our sessions. We are just putting a, a community now of conservationists in Nigeria researchers, practitioners, passionists, everybody come together and let the world see that there is this caliber of people in Nigeria. Many of them have their own NGOs and they are doing wonderful things, but at local skills, you see, but they lack the funding to do big things. So we would want to see them given the chance to be able to work effectively Without money, it's not going to happen.